Good morning, Sagittarius. Happy Monday and happy full moon in Capricorn. And we're seeing it here, definitely. Um, so, I mean, of course, full moons are always a great time for releasing, but this is the first super full moon, I believe, right? Because there's like four. Um, and it's a good time to think about your goals and, you know, making things make sense. Your goals, making sure that uh, it's also we do think a lot about money when there's Capricorn at the wheel, right? But it's a good time for thinking about what you can achieve. And Capricorn wants you to be grounded and reasonable. Good time to get organized. Speaking of that, I'm going to be um, probably start posting tomorrow in my description the, uh, the schedule that I'm going to do for readings because I do need to get organized. So let's do this. Let's see. So what's interesting is what you need to focus on because um, messages, dreams, and spirit guides is here. And it's interesting because it came out twice. So there's really an, an emphasis to um, pay attention to your dreams. Uh, you may be getting some messages there and... This is really about fighting for yourself because if you start seeing bears in your dreams, <laughs> it's it's like there's this energy of standing up for yourself, which is very much Seven of Wands energy. But, you know, dream message came out for that, too. So something really important that, you know, you you may be needing to defend something um, and they may be trying to tell you in your dreams. Okie dokie. Your moon card today is the Knight of Cups. So um, that could be telling you, especially with the keyword that's for this card in particular, is sensitivity. Um, so you're really needing to be careful because, you know, definitely during full moons, we are extra sensitive. We are there. There's a higher probability of getting triggered, right? Um, because it's always it's always heightened emotions, and the moon wants you to know to be very careful about getting sensitive about things today. And definitely, because I'm seeing it, this could uh, show its ugly head <laughs> in communication. And we all know, you know, don't. Don't get it twisted, but Sagittarius can be very, very interesting with their words. And I'm a Sagittarius, y'all, so I'm not letting myself off the hook. We can say some shit, right? <laughs> For sure. And because the word Lord is here, which is about communication, okay? Um... And it's interesting because it's with honeymoon. So I actually feel like because praise is in here, someone may be um, saying some nice things to you, right? Because honeymoon talks about, you know, the the happy phases, the, you know, and it can seem kind of fake to you was what I was seeing. But I also was seeing to be really careful about your words here, like, you know, why are they saying it, right? <laughs> the resting tree, patient and stillness. And I feel like this is telling you to be careful what you say back. Um, maybe you don't see say anything because communicate is here. So definitely there's a conversation today. You know, and the conversation probably um, starts out with some pretty words, you know. Um, but it's leading towards something else, right? So the prison waif is here, self-sabotage, poverty, and then there's, you know, bad finances here. So I feel like someone may be, you know, buttering you up uh, to, to, you know, do something in terms of money. Maybe someone is borrowing money from you. Maybe they're trying to borrow money from you. Um, but the, the thing about this is that, you know, um, because this is going to require patience of you. So I kind of tend to think this is someone who 
often has money problems because they're not good with their money. And, you know, maybe that's why you're being called to stand up for yourself. Because I feel like you're probably saying no. Okay? <laughs> I, I do. Because uh, the overall energy is the Two of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. It's kind of like you don't know what to do here. It's not that you, you know, it's not that you don't have the money. That's not, that's not the issue. The issue is because with the two of pentacles, this is juggling energy going back and forth. Like maybe this happens a lot, but there are some, uh, conversations about money today that are going to make you defensive. And, you know, you, and maybe you're, what you go back and forth on is whether you really need to, to, to defend your position, right? Just saying. <laughs> just saying so the overall energy is the devil the hermit and justice like you know the truth is is that as much as you might want to help this person or help people in general you understand that this is a repetitive thing with them right um because devil energy unfortunately is not is not overly great in this situation it's with the hermit and, and justice, like, and I kind of feel like with the hermit being here, this has happened before, you know, um, yes, will you, I, I do feel like you, you maybe will take some time to think it over, right, before you make a decision, but I also feel like what you're, what you're realizing is that, you know, yes, this has happened before, and, you know, are you really helping here? You know, particularly by giving this person money. You know, um, I mean, they could talk about you having money problems and trying to figure out what to do. You know, but I kind of really feel like this is someone coming to you for money. And, and with the Nine of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles, to be honest, you know, your inclination is to help people. So you may want to help someone. But the truth is, Saj, is that you have to think about what's important to you. You have to think about your own finances. Do you really have this to give to this person? You know, because with the Nine of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles... It's still you figuring out what to do. And the Seven of Pentacles kind of tells you that you have to protect your, your, your own investment. You know, your own money. And so, you know, I feel like, I feel like this is a difficult conversation and a difficult decision for you. But I feel like Spirit is kind of telling you <clears throat> to really, you know, not do this. Okay, I, I rarely will come out and say to, you know, whatever, but there could be some dif difficult decisions about money and someone wanting you to help them out. But the truth is, is you need to hold on to everything you have, you know, because this is about your future. Yeah, so how can you have a good day is two of cups and the moon card. Um, Just really to... You know, be with people you love, be with people you feel close to, you know, um, and, and remember that irregardless of this whole conversation, you may need to remember that you care about this person, you know, and, and, you know, kind of cling to that, right? You know, um, and at the end of the day is interesting because the results of the day are, you may be actually helping this person to figure out another way for themselves. You know, pointing out what their options are in a really gentle kind of way um, without directly helping them. So in other words, this says you're not helping them by giving them money. All you do is kind of hurt yourself in this situation. The way that you could help them is to show them different options that they could have to solve their problems, you know, 
That was very specific. <laughs> that was very specific. And if it, this isn't about lending someone money or helping someone financially, it could really be you. Um, I, I also was hearing that it may be necessary for you to change how you speak about money. Like, don't go out there saying you're a broke bitch. Don't do that. Okay? Um, because we that's a that may be a form of self sabotage you know because what we focus on is what we attract you know so but i do i do feel like you're helping someone work out some sort of money problem i really do i really do and i kind of feel like um they will show up in like a manipulative way, like being really sweet and loving and everything. And I'm not saying this to say that someone's trying to do you wrong. Um, you know, we always show up as people who will help, you know, because I don't really feel like this is someone who, who, who wants to do you wrong. It's definitely someone who needs your help, but understanding that, there are other ways to help besides giving what you have before, you know, you get in the messages and say, you know, people are always trying to take advantage of us. I think people always want our help. And that is, that's what we do. We give great advice. You know, we do help people. So let's see what the lesson is today, Sag. What is the lesson today? What is the lesson today for Sagittarius? Remember, the moon is at the wheel today. So I feel like, too, this might be a really big change of direction for you because that's what the moon does. And, you know, really in terms of you don't have to give what you have to help you can just show people ways to help themselves which i feel is what you're doing here so what's the lesson sagittarius is learning today what is the lesson sagittarius is learning purpose okay And honesty. Like, yeah, like a Sagittarius' role in this life is, you know, the core of who we are is honesty, right? I can't always expect truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. But I feel like this is because your purpose in life is, uh, is through honesty. But how you deliver it is what you're finding today that might be challenging, right? Do we have anything else for? Well, yeah, because what you're going to find today, and this may really actually lead you to some answers for what it is you're supposed to do in life, but they're telling you to remember that your purpose is honesty and showing people how to stay the course, how to get through it, because perseverance and honesty are two energies that very much represent Sagittarius. Very much. Wow, okay, Saj. So that's pretty deep, but it's always deep for us. It's always deep for us, Sagittarius. So let's get some inspiration for you. Some inspiration for Sagittarius. What What is going to inspire Saj today? What could inspire Sagittarius today? What could inspire Sagittarius today? Sagittarius. What's inspiring Sagittarius today? Give me some inspiration for Sagittarius.
Inspiration for Sagittarius. The Great Gathering. It's all coming together. Intuitive hits, soul tribe. Like, have you answered your deepest calling? I feel like you're going to you know, really, um, re because this is about receiving information, like, and that's even more about these dream messages. They're showing you what you're supposed to do and how this is going to call in people that you feel more connected with, right? Geez, sorry. <laughs> this, so uh, there's a lot about that. There's a lot about, um, Creating something new with whole new people that really resonates with your truth. Hmm. So, you know, keep that in mind, Sagittarius. By standing in your truth, you attract the people that you should be with. Okay, that's what I have for you, Toodles.